Now that we have a working workspace, let's connect this to Git, and specifically GitHub. So, click on the gear, then go to Git integration, and you can see that GitHub is not available. You need to be a Fabric admin. Go to settings, click on the admin portal, and then in the admin portal, look for GitHub. You can then enable GitHub. This can take up to 15 minutes to be applied. So let's see, when we go back here to our workspace settings, different gear, if we can select it. So now let's wait 15 minutes. Now that the setting has been done, you can click on GitHub, press add account, and fill in the information. If you don't know how to make a personal access token in GitHub, go to your account settings, go to developer settings, make a find create token, name it something descriptive. This one will expire in 30 days and will only have access to this particular repo. And then under repository permissions, you want to give it content, read and write, and it will automatically do metadata as well. Click generate, copy this and paste it into Fabric. Once you have done that, you can select a branch and then put all the stuff in a folder. You don't really want it on the root. Click connect and you should be good to go. You can now see this is all going to be synced with GitHub and you have a new button here, source control. On the source control, you can push a pull, but you can also branch out to a different workspace. You can also switch branches here. This is very nice if your trial is ending and you need to put your workspace contents somewhere else.